G'day, 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 my name is Thagfiz, I'm your local bearded Minecrafter, and we have another episode of Mobius Craft. I've been doing a few bits and pieces. We have a beer, that extension to the base. I've actually built two levels since I've last done a recording. I have done the first part here off camera. The second part here I'll show you to you very, very shortly in the time lapse that I've recorded already. And I've taken the Christmas tree down because it's the 27th of December. So I thought we would build this fountain again and have a bit of fun. Um, so I'm going to update for you guys. Yeah, I'll just do that thing there. There we go. Magic. All back again. So I took the uh, Christmas tree down. It's the end of Christmas and I've been doing a few bits and pieces in the base now. I think since the last time we had a bit of a look around. Um, not much has changed yet. Uh, we've got three more skulls again so we're probably going to do another with a boss fight just because we can. Um, nothing else has really happened. I have a really nice supply of um, blaze rods. So I've hit the blaze farm quite nice and hard. And I think the third chest just behind this sign is nice and full as well. We're not going to bother checking that. Um, I've got to bring in more supplies from memory from Kor Ashaman. Yep. Uh, how are we going? We got stacks of this stuff. We're not using too much of this actually, the prismarine might find a bit of a use for it. In fact, I might use a little bit in my um, build for... I've got a modification on this too. I'm thinking of um, doing... I've been tinkering a little bit. Um, I forget what I was up to. Come back to me. Will it come back to me? I'm tired. It's like 3 in the morning. I just got home from work. Um, no, can't remember. So I removed the stairs out of here. It was really, really annoying me. Um, yeah, what can I say? Put in a letter. We've got to uniform the, um, the whole, or unify rather, the transportation of this whole base. It's really kind of annoying. Maybe in the minecart system, that'd be kind of really cool. Um, so we did this one off camera, and I've gone with the stone floor, just to make the whole area a little bit more industrial, and breaks up all of this snow. The snow's really annoying me. Um, Gone with the white stained glass again. I think that was already up here. I'll put up some torches just to make this look a little bit more of a dungeon. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a dungeon. Yeah, in here, what I'm going to be doing is it's going to have lots of um, pathways and stuff and things for the hoppers to get to like this point and other various parts depending on where they're coming from i'll probably have a part from the chicken farm coming from down that way i'm gonna have um some uh, item elevators in here somewhere taking up to up here and more drop shafts and stuff with hoppers um, because up here I'm going to have the Ultra Furnace, we're going to build this this episode. And just a little bit after the time lapse, we'll, we'll get started on that. <clears throat> and I'm going to have a chicken farm. There's enough room in here for the chicken farm. And the, uh, the thingamajigger. Mm -hmm. um, the Ultra Furnace. Um, and there'll be a little bit room, a little bit of room left over. So we'll see what we'll do with that. The um, the the idea behind this room was to leave it um, nice and open. So you can kind of see from wherever you are all the stuff and things going on with the furnace while it's running because it's really it really is nice to watch. It really is. Um, and we'll probably have a few more farms up here too. Um, with this base too, I'm pretty sure from this level up now, I'm going to sort of taper it in. Um, because the original plan is to have a Taurus. And I don't want to have to take out much of that roof. And we're sort of running out of room vertically very fast. Um, so... 
I'm happy to take out the nether uh, the netherrack sort of around here but I don't want to have to go up and add them it's going to annoy the, the smurf out of me um, as for other plans just in this space here I have on my test world an idea for some spawner towers I mentioned a few episodes ago now that we have uh, an emerald um, economy based system based on trade goods that you can normally trade with villagers so um i'm gonna i've been saving up my emerald blocks and i'm gonna be purchasing a number of spawners i'm gonna have i believe it was four witch spawners and one in fact five witch spawners and i'm gonna have one skeleton spawner skeleton spawner in the nether actually produces with a skeleton so I'll have uh, wither skeletons for days, days and days, and a nice supply of um, thingamajiggers, bone, bone, spoon, bone meal. I'll have lots of bone meal for a uh, tree farm. I'm gonna build a tree, build a tree farm up in here, um, just because it might be a nice thing to have in here. Um, or I might even put that in the um, the offshoot base. So, yeah. Anyway, um, how are we looking? Six minutes of blabbing. Six minutes of all the blabbing. So down here with the portals, we got one for the mine. And now I was thinking of dressing up that portal, which is just over near my cursor. So this is the portal to my mine, and I was thinking of dressing up this area a little bit, just to make it identified as the mine. Just some raw ores in the corner, maybe. Um, yeah. And dress this up a little bit too, maybe just a little bit, because through here is going to be the entrance to the floating tower, to the tower base, um, because we can't use water in the nether. We've talked about this before um, and I'm going to quickly touch on it again. I need to be able to trade things that I can't nominally grow in the in the nether because I just do not have access to that much water. Um, in fact I've got access to no water so you come through here and it's kind of isolated from everything. I know it's just a short enderpearl distance to that island um, and I'm not going to touch that island. The original plan was to use that we're not doing that now. It's going to be all floating tower base here. So I'm going to have cactus farms, sugar cane, uh, I'm going to have wheat, carrot, uh, potatoes, um, as much as automatic and redstone as I can possibly manage. And what else would we want there? We're going to do watermelons. In fact, we might be able to do watermelons and pumpkins here. I'm not sure what the growth rate is for those two items here in the nether. I might do some testing. Yeah. Um, also, we're going to have a slime farm there because um, that happens to be just on the edge of a slime farm. So that's going to be really cool. Um, and as for mob drops, debating that one. Um, I might have a mob farm there too, just to sort of be a little bit efficient with our time over there. Um, and I'm not going to bother, I've decided I'm not actually going to bother with um, a cow farm. Although if I do have one, I'll have a nice small one here. I'm going to make my decision. I'm still deciding on that one. I'll be able to fit it up with the chickens if I do it. It's not going to be the same big one I built in Korashaman. So... You know, it's not going to be anything impressive, so don't get your hopes up. Um, but I, I do wish to have a wood farm here, and I'll have it connected up to all the hoppers and stuff. So that's why we've put that in the um, in the sorting system. And that just about does it. And I've modified these windows. I really like in these windows. They're nice and open now. Liking the feel of the whole base. I flew around in my camera account um, after the time lapse, and I'm quite impressed. I really am. Um, and I've got much more detail work in mind to do. Um, I'm sort of playing with a few ideas here. My other base, I'll put up some glass here in the corners. 
and it worked out very well. Um, and I might just put a few up here in the center just to sort of, I don't know, dress it up a little bit because it feels a little bit bland. I'm going to do lots of dressing up in this space. So anyway, that's all I've got for the moment. Um, we've made, in fact, at the end of this episode, I'll give you guys an update on Stormwind. And uh, actually, we'll go, we'll go do that now. I'll catch you in a bit. Hello, we just arrived in the Nether Hub. Um, I was gonna build the, um, well, I have in mind to build the Ultra Furnace on camera and do all the talky talky except I don't know how well that's going to go it's probably going to wind up with lots of jump cuts so I'll probably just wind up building that in um, fits and spurts and I'll sort of come back with um, progress updates on that because I, even though I've built it three times now I kind of I can build the back of it fine without any help from the video except you really need the help to make sure you get it right for everything else because uh, it's one of those really complicated builds, but I will blog that with proper talky talky updates. Um, but anyway, we've been spending a lot of time here. Uh, we've been in spending an incredible amount of time here. Uh, myself and Friny have done most of the work recently. Um, because Hessor, Bad Medicine have been quite busy. Talexos has been busy with work. Uh, Phryne and I have been, and by the way, Hessor, it's Phryne. It's in fry some bacon, fry knee, bang your knee, fry knee. Hmm. So Hessor, I'll put a link in the description, has actually released a video, um, his first video on his channel. So go check him out, give him a like or a subscription. Um, he's got some good content coming our way very shortly. So anyway, Hestor has had enough time to come out and um, outline the aqueducts. You can see the aqueducts just down here. And Phryne has come through and she's put cobblestone down on the bottom of it. If you ever see some photos or play uh, World of Warcraft, you notice that you'll know that the bottom, the bed of the aqueduct is lined with um, cobblestone and the walls have been covered in stone brick and um, I've helped dig out some of the, the trenches but Franny's done quite a, quite a lot while she's been doing her Netflix thing um, I've been the one who's built the except for that one I've been the one who's built those two towers for the beacon and I've removed an entire forest right here and I've removed an entire mountain right there. I removed all the trees there. And I removed a mountain there. Um, I did some flattening out here. Or leveling. And talix. So I did remove most of the trees. In fact, I removed all the trees in this whole area. And some of the trees here. Good deal of trees here. Talixos did all the tree removal on this island. I've gone ahead and drained some water. And that's about it for now. Um, I did some draining over here as well. Anyway, we got some more water draining to do. Lots of landscaping. We've got more tree cutting to go. But we've got lots and lots to do. We're going to start putting pathways in soon. I moved my mulery to over here just nice and temporarily um, so it's an honor based system you can put your 64 emeralds in here and you take yourself a lead and a chest and you can take your your mule away we've got a lever just there you can flick the lever and the fences come down um, they're the available mules to buy um, it, it's, you know, if the Moobians wanted one for free, I don't really care. It's more of a more of a laugh than anything else. I'm expecting to make money from it. The mules are um, legitimately very handy, though. So um, when I was doing all the stuff here and over here, I got it done so quickly. Between the beacon and having the mule to put stuff in, it was great. Anyway, we we are um, getting pretty close to time. 
Um, I'll get back to you shortly. Enjoy. We'll put up the the time lapse now. I hope you enjoy the music. It's um, some techno. Kind of a fan of techno at the moment. Um, so I hope you enjoy that. After the time lapse, we'll give you an update on the furnace.
I've been doing some stuff and things and I got the interface started. I had to spend a little bit of time in my redstone testing well just to sort of get it worked out in my head. I've you know had a lot of trouble working that out for some reason. Um, so anyway, the idea is, is that we've got a glass elevator coming down from behind in the back right hand corner of the storage um, center and that's going to send items up through to some hoppers and I'm going to have one item sorter here. The item sorter will um, divert the blaze rods. The blaze rods will come over to here um, into one of these two chests. Um, that's there more for symmetry and the the rest of the line will filter into that top chest there uh, and then after that I'm gonna have two hoppers right here in fact we'll put them in now because we can just like that and I'll go down down like that so that's what's happening. I haven't started any of the redstone yet. That's going to come next. And yes, that kind of looks like a face. Kind of does look like a face. Anyway, I'll get come back to you shortly when I've done some more. Hey guys, we're back. I've done the thing. The ultra furnace and the item elevator connection system thingy was all built and done and thingamajiggied. Um, so... What we can do, I actually decided to remove one end of the chest. We can put in here our fuel or items to be furnished. It gets sucked through into here and put up. So that's really cool. So we don't even need to go up anymore to, to do any of the furnishing. Although I do kind of feel that it will slow down the overall speed of the furnace. So I'm going to have to test that. We'll have to wait and see, but that's the ultra furnace. I'm gonna dress it up yet um, Maybe even just leave it because sometimes leaving them industrial looking is kind of really cool um, But you can see over here. I've done the connections with the hoppers So I've got to put some furnaces on top of here because it's lagging this area something fierce um, and the um, Filter is all complete. So this is all standalone up here now. I don't need to come in here to use this um, and we've got room enough up here to put in some farms. I can put in, I'm going to put in a chicken farm next. We'll do that next episode. And um, I'll probably put in pumpkin and um, watermelon farms. I don't think I can grow anything else here. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to run some tests in my design world, but I'm pretty sure that's all I'll be able to do. Do, 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 do. And of course, we've still got some other projects I'm going to do around here, and then we're going to get started on the tower um, in the overworld. But nevertheless, that's what I've done. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And catch me back here next week, and we'll do some more Minecrafting. Thanks, guys. Bye.